This is a basic review of trigonometry and geometry used in first semester physics. Trigonometry refers to measurement of triangles. In physics, the right triangle specifically is often used. This is a triangle where the largest angle is exactly 90 degrees. The other angles are called acute angles and are complementary. The longest side of the triangle is referred to as the hypotenuse. This is opposite the right angle. Both of the other sides are just referred to as the sides. The Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the squares of the sides of a right triangle are equal to the square of its hypotenuse. If we are to use the symbols A and B for the sides and C for the hypotenuse, then the Pythagorean theorem can be represented as C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Here is an example of the use of the Pythagorean theorem where the sides are known and we want to calculate the hypotenuse. We solve symbolically for the unknown first, plug in numbers with units, and then plug into our calculator. Do not forget to square the sides, and do not forget to square root the result. Here is an example where the hypotenuse is known, and it is one of the sides that is unknown. You solve symbolically first, then do the math on the numbers. Always check your result that the hypotenuse is greater than either of the sides. Next, we turn to the relationship between the angles and the sides. If we pick one of the acute angles, theta, then we can label the triangle with the hypotenuse as its longest side, an adjacent side nearest the angle, and the opposite side farthest from that angle. The sign of that angle is then defined as the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine of that angle is defined as the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse and the tangent of that angle is defined as the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. S O H C A H T O A So Ka Toa Here is an example. Suppose we want to find out one of the acute angles for a 3-4-5 triangle. 
in this case the angle is the one closest to the adjacent side of length four meters the cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse which is four meters divided by five meters which gives us 0 0.8 to get the angle we take the inverse function of cosine on that ratio and get 36.9 degrees please check your calculator whether it is in degree or radian mode in physics problems it is common that only the hypotenuse and one of the sides is given along with the right angle in this case you figure out the remaining side using the Pythagorean theorem and the angle using Sokatoa. Alternatively, the problem may give you the angle and the hypotenuse, in which case you use Sokatoa to figure out the adjacent and opposite sides. Geometry in physics is not limited to right triangles, so you will still need to keep in mind what you learned in geometry about congruent angles, which is defined as angles that are the same, complementary angles, which are defined as angles that add up to 90 degrees and supplementary angles, angles that are defined as adding up to 180 degrees. You will need to learn to use the combination of these angles to figure out larger obtuse angles.